Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to our vlog. Um, what is that? Barry? Come here. It's like this white stuff all over our deck. I just happened to look down and caught my eye. Is it bird poop? Like, I'm really confused. It's a Come here. I started the vlog. Tell everybody hello. Hi. And I looked down. What is that on the deck? What is that? Oh, it's um, I put a lime in the yard. Oh, y'all, so I go on the deck when it rained, it turned it white because it's all over there. All of, I was like, I Oh my, off. you know what it looks like? I thought birds mm -mm. had like did their business all over, all over the deck. I might have put grass seed out, so I put lime in the yard to help okay. build up the soil. Yeah, the neighbor put out grass seed this morning too, and fertilizer I'm, or something. I'm gonna go clean it out and so I can um, put the grass seed back. Okay, it caught me off guard. I really no. was like, what? Anyway, thank you. All right, so back to what I was saying. I'll show you guys in a minute. It just, I don't know, I was like, there ain't no way. There ain't no way it's birds, but I couldn't think what else it could be. I mean, I had no idea. Um, but yeah, so we're getting this day started. I got up this morning, edited the vlog. Briley's gonna get a vlog up today. And all is good. Aiden is gaming with his friends, you know, per usual. And Dad went and ran some errands this morning and also went to Wingstop for us. Me and Briley are about to get in the car, though, and drive. Um, I'm not sure where we're going to go, but she wants to film a mukbang of her eating her Wingstop for her next YouTube video. I don't know if she's doing, like, Q&A or just talking. I'm not sure. But me and her are going to eat in the car. They're going to eat here. Um, Aiden does have a game today, a much later game than usual, so it's like kind of late this afternoon, but that's fine. But while me and Briley are out, I need to run by Lowe's, and I'd like to run by Target. I'll tell you guys kind of what I'm after. So let me tell you, first of all, what happened to the vacuum I bought. Actually, I don't even know what I'm going to tell you. The truth is, I got up one morning, like literally two or three days ago, I used the vacuum, I vacuumed the downstairs like I do every morning, put it back on the charger, it's blinking, all is good. I had this thought that, man, I'm so glad his vacuum didn't go out. I just had this random, and I'm not lying, this random thought or like thing that crossed my mind. I was like, I'm really glad his vacuum's working out great. You know, it's charging is good. Literally go to get it the next like later that afternoon. It was the day we did Briley's room and we like redecorated and stuff and moved her furniture. I got the vacuum. Briley or Briley did. She brings it upstairs. The screen's completely dark. Nothing's lighting up. It won't turn on. Dead. Just completely broke. I'm like, what happened? Are you serious? And I literally had just told myself that morning, like I'm glad his vacuum's working out. And it did, it's, it's broke. So I panicked, I'm like, what am I gonna do? So I call Kayla, I'm like, hey girl, can I borrow, she's got two vacuums. I'm like, can I borrow one of your vacuums just for a couple of days so I can figure out what I'm gonna do with mine? And of course the vacuum I buy, it was a home Mika, do not recommend. It wasn't sponsored, um, even if it was, I'd be honest. My Pretty Care that was sponsored and they sent me that vacuum, that thing lasted me over a year. Well over, I mean, I might have had that thing two or three years. Honestly, I don't even know how long I had it. I loved it. Highly recommend Pretty Care. At least the one I had was great. Uh, Homeika, do not recommend. I'm not trying to like bad mouth, but I'm just gonna be honest. You want an honest review? This is my honest review. Um, it was over $100, which was on the cheaper end. It was like 100 bucks, 109 or something. I thought it was on the cheaper end, but I was like, you know, the Pretty Care one was only 100 and it did great. So I was like, yeah, whatever. So I get it and literally the window to return it was like February 1st and it broke at the end of February. Literally like two weeks later it broke. I said, what? But I contacted Amazon and they said that they would do a one-time return um, issue a return for me because they were like, we could do it one time, yada, yada. But I have to pay $22 to restock a broken vacuum, which I thought was kind of crazy. But so I guess they'll refund me all the money minus $25 or $22. So I'm like, well, it's better than getting nothing back, you know? So now I have to take that to the return place and return it. I don't have a box. 
I've got to print the label and our printer has been wacky. It halfway prints, halfway doesn't. Hopefully it prints. I'm not dealing with any of that today. Today's a, this, today's a whole nother day. I'm gonna worry about that maybe tomorrow, maybe Monday. That might be a Monday project. Um, but yeah, so I'm on the hunt for a new vacuum. So I'm gonna go to Lowe's, see what they have. I really like Kayla's vacuum, but looking at Lowe's website, they're out of stock, go figure. Um, so I'm just gonna see what they got, and see if they have anything I want, because I've gotta have a vacuum, I can't live without it. Um, I can sweep downstairs, not a big deal, but I need it for my carpets, if nothing else. Um, so, and Kayla wants her vacuum back. She gave me her cordless one. I said, girl, give me your little dirt devil plug-in. I don't, I don't need your fancy one. She goes, no, just take this one, it's fine. I was like, are you sure? She's like, yeah. But I gotta give that back to her. I'm gonna give it back to her either today or tomorrow. So, we're on the hunt for that. And Target, we're on the hunt because I'm going out for surgery in like a week, a little, a little more than a week. And um, not much though. Gosh, you guys, like eight days? No, nine days. That's scary. But I'm gonna need pants for after because I didn't think about. I probably can't just throw my jeans on. I seriously doubt you should. So I need to go find like some cotton pants. I have a pair of Nikes I got for Christmas and absolutely love them. Sorry, I'm trying to get my video to YouTube. I absolutely love them, but the problem is they're, I'm so short, they're so long, they drag the ground, so it's not like I could wear them out. Maybe I should go get them him before my surgery, but I don't know if I can get them done in time. So I'm like, whatever, they could be my house pants, lounge around, whatever, but I need something for when we leave the house. I never wear jogging pants, sweat pants, whatever you wanna call them. Um, I normally wear leggings, but you're not supposed to wear leggings after this surgery either. They don't recommend it because of it being so tight and compressive. You're already gonna have a compression band on, but they're saying you don't need to really add anything to it. You should wear something loose fitting. So I need some pants because Briley's gonna have soccer, Aiden's gonna have hockey, and I'm gonna have nothing to wear. So Briley said Target's gotten in these really cute sets, like little tops, like little sweat sweater, um, sweatshirt type tops and like cargo sweatpants. I wanna go check them out. I found some on Amazon, I may just order, but I, I was like, you know, if Target's got them and I like them, let's go try them out. My problem is I'm so short, nothing fits me in the length. That's the problem. So I don't know what I'm gonna do if I can't find some pants before, because I definitely, the next weekend, if I'm able to walk around and get places, I'm going to the kids' games. And I can't go with no clothes on, so I've gotta find something to wear that's gonna be warm enough to keep me warm and not drag the messy ground when we're on a soccer field. But I don't know, that's what we're doing today. This is a really long clip, sorry. But getting the vlog to YouTube and then me and Bryler are taking off so she can film a mukbang and then do a little shopping and then we gotta hurry because before we blink, Aiden's game will be starting. All right, just finished up with Briley's mukbang. And she's full. She's like, Mom, I'm so full. I'm feeling like I'm gonna throw up. They gave her 10 wings versus five. I don't know why. They filled up the fries all the way to the brim. We could not even eat them all. And the carrot sticks, they gave a lot of those too. But mm. it was really good. Mm -hmm. You need to go to the wing stop me and Chris went to last night. Okay. They hooked their fries up. Yeah, they hooked it up there today too, I think. It was just a lot of food. But we are done. Not even with the seasoning on the fries. Oh, really? Yeah, they didn't put like, much on them today. Wow. Well, we are heading now to Lowe's. That's going to be the first stop, not the fun stop. But I need to find a vacuum. You ready to go find a vacuum with me? Yep. Okay. Made it to the vacuum cleaners and look at the prices of them. That's ridiculous. So we're going to look and see what we can find. I don't know. The prices are kind of high and I'm not trying to put a lot into it because I'm cheap. So we're standing here and like the cheapest vacuum they actually have is what, almost 300? Yeah. I just have a hard time putting that into a vacuum cleaner. This is so stupid. You could put $300 in something way more worth it. But I do need a vacuum. Yeah, but you could always go on Amazon and buy one on there. It's still gonna be about, well, the one I'm looking at on there is like 220. That's definitely cheaper to the cheapest one I'm here. I'm gonna say, the well, they, well, they're out of those and they got this craftsman i don't like that one it's 200 and even if i go with this shark it's 280 and then it just goes up from there like 570 for a vacuum ridiculous right like why i don't know i mean i need a vacuum but briley's telling me just to order one. Oh my gosh briley <laughs> briley why do you need that bad of a vacuum i don't know I don't know. Does that say seven 
What? Seven, seven ninety nine. Eight hundred dollars for that vacuum that doesn't sell. They have one there for one twenty nine. It probably says order on Amazon. That's I do need a filter for the fridge, though. You want to grab that while we're here? Oh, uh, sure. Made it into Target. And we're looking at these. These are not the cargo ones. I thought they had cargo ones. They have, like, the little yellow ones there. But some of these, okay, like, this style's cute. But, like, for example, if I put it up to my waist, you see that leg? Yeah, I can't rock that. I need something that's cinched at the bottom. The one she has is cinched. Those are extra small. It's probably way too small for me. But they don't have much to choose from. So I'm like, I really want a small. Here's a small hanger with nothing on it. So I'm trying to figure out which ones to get. Target was a madhouse. It's Saturday. It's to be expected, I know, but wow. It was crazy. Now I know why I do um, to go all the time. Curbs, I pick up whatever it's called. Um, it's just easier to order online and just pick it up. Um, but we're done. And... I bought my first, I'm not going to say my first ever because when I was younger I wore them, but I bought my first bikini as an adult, like after babies. Isn't that crazy? It's crazy to say. But yeah, I bought my first bikini, didn't know what size to buy, just bought it on a whim. Going to keep the tags on in case it don't work, I can bring it back. I have no idea what size I'm going to be. I know I'm going to be super swollen. He did say, be prepared to be very swollen. And the swelling could last up to a year, like bloating on and off. He said that could last up to a year until your body adjusts. But I know for the first like six months, I'm going to be real bloated. And that's pretty much all summer. So I don't even know what swimsuit I could wear. Am I even going to want to wear a bikini? Am I going to still want to wear my ones at home? You know, like I don't know. Um, but I bought one today. It's really pretty. I'll show you guys. I'll do like a little haul of what I got. But, like, stuff's expensive, you guys. I even went in there and looked at their vacuums, and they were no better. There was one in there for almost $1,000. $1,000 for a vacuum cleaner. I almost feel like it would be cheaper just to hire somebody to come clean your house. Do you know what I mean? Like, a 1000 I just can't seem to do it. So, I'm going to probably order another Pretty Care. I really like their vacuums. My last one lasted me forever. And, yeah, why not? So, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think that's the plan. But, um, we're going to head home, meet up with everybody else. I got to fill in my video and then we're going to take off and go to the rink because Aiden has his last and final game with his team, which is bittersweet because he really loved his team this year. But I'm hoping that he gets to play with some of these kids again in the spring. That's the hope. But you never know what team you're going to get on, who you're going to be with. So we'll see how it goes. But anyway, that's it. We're heading to the house and heading to a hockey game. Okay. So Target haul, I got two of these tank tops. I just tried them on. They're really, really cute. Wish I got more colors. They were only $8, you guys. So I might go back and get more of those. Um, and I got these sweats and I actually tried these on too. They fit great and they work because I'm short. So those are perfect. This is a swimsuit I got. I like the top, but I didn't realize the bottom right here. I didn't think about. This is metal and it's so thin through here. It's going to lay right on my scar. So that's not going to work. I need something that's wider through here and not metal. So, I'm going to have to take this one back. I'm going to still try to find this color to go with that because I like it. But, I mean, I did I did do like a black, so I know pretty much anything will go with the black. And then in here is literally a bunch of hair stuff. I got some hairspray. Riley needed shampoo, so we got her that one. Um, she needed conditioner, so we got her that one. And let's see. I needed some more shampoo. I use a couple different shampoos because so my hair doesn't get used to it. And that seems to do the trick. I got some purple shampoo. And I got some more nails. But these are different. These are not the ones that work by the um, like UV light. So I'm hoping they still do good. I've used these before. I just can't remember how good they were. And then I got some powder foundation. And that's it. And I don't even want to tell you how much this cost. More than it should have.
Hurt you guys. I wasn't filming, but he landed on his back. He's over there on the bench, stretching his back out. Yeah, it was right here under this blanket. It's right here. Okay, talk to me. What did he say? He said he was crying. I know he was. Um, he moved it around or whatever. Dad had to move it, see if it was hurting. He moved it a little bit, and then Dad was asking about where was it hurting. He said like right here on that bone. Oh. And um. Dad told him, like, stretch it a little bit more. He's like, did it feel like it hurts? He said, no, not really. It hurts, but not like something's broken. Right, okay. So. He, he landed like, hard. Yeah, he said daddy was fine, so. Okay, good. Stopped off to get some dinner and then we're heading home. Who's ready to go home? Me. I'm ready to go home too. Like, I'm tired. That looks disgusting. Pork and small sandwich. Not feeling it? On King's Hawaiian. Three in a row champions, guys. <laughs> Three in a row. I'm, I'm championship winners, guys. Woo! No, these are all losses. They're not losses. They are. It's participation. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with that. This one is um fall 2023 to 24. This one's spring 23. This one's 2022 to 23. Yeah. But he got another one tonight. They lost their game. Oh, this unfortunately. is Unfortunately. Yeah. Mm. Unfortunately. But it's still cool. And we're going to get you something to hang yours up too. I want to do got that. that anchor, but I want like a... No, no, no. I want to get one like you got Briley for Christmas. Yeah. So it's got a bunch of little hooks on it. Yep. But you did good, man. I love you. I love you. Okay, go eat your dinner. All right, I'm starving. Enjoy. Enjoy.